Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. The fight's almost here. Dude, I just found out that this fight is at 140 pounds. All this time, I thought this fight was going to be at 135. That's why I was like, whenever they post up pictures of Ryan Garcia, you know, he looks like buffed up and, you know, muscular. And, and I was like, man, he looks pretty big. I don't think he can make one, 135. And then... Turns out that this fight is freaking at 140. <laughs> I just found that out doing just knowing the weighing results. What the hell, man? Oh man, I've been slacking, man. I've been slacking when it comes to the sport. I haven't really been. I guess I haven't really been paying that much attention lately. It's just been busy. Life has been busy. But anyway, um, yeah, they had the weigh-ins as you guys can see. Um, both fighters. Well, Ryan Garcia looked like he's ready to go. Javier Fortuna. I don't know, man. He kind of looks. Uh, it, look, it looks kind of soft in the belly right there, man. I, <laughs> it'll be interesting. I, I, fighting at the 140 pounds definitely, definitely uh, increases the chances of Ryan Garcia winning, uh, I'd say, at least in my opinion. Uh, he weighed in right at the limit of 140, and Fortuna weighed in at 139.8 pounds. So, um, so yeah, should be, uh, yeah. Yeah, fighting at 140 is definitely an advantage for, for Ryan Garcia in my opinion um but you know it is what it is as we all know fights almost here fights taking place in less than 24 hours over at the uh crypto.com arena formerly known as the staples center in los angeles california usa to be shown live around the world on uh, the zone so tune into the zone if you want to see this fight i'll definitely be tuning in looking forward to it and uh yeah i made a prediction video not long ago shout out to the uh, one two three four five people that commented on that video Shout out to uh, Seismic Glare, shout out to Jay, shout out to Haters Have Opinion, and shout out to Dennis F, and shout out to Phil M. Uh, Seismic Glare said, and I quote, it reads, uh, Fortuna is no joke. If Ryan underestimate, Fortuna will win, similar to Camboso's Teofimo. However, if Ryan comes focused, I see Ryan taking Fortuna out under six rounds, and that's a massive statement at 135, if it does happen. And uh, 135, no, it's 140. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, if Ryan Garcia is taking this fight lightly, then maybe, yeah, Fortuna has a good chance. But I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, now knowing now that this fight is at 140, uh, I'm, I'm even more confident Ryan's going to win this fight. Jay said, and I quote, it reads, I don't see something special in Fortuna. However, Garcia was not well against Luke Campbell. His footwork against the Southpaw sucks. If he has not improved his footwork, Fortuna might pull it off. Yeah, if, with with Joe Goosen, I think he he'll be very aggressive in this fight. So it'll be interesting to see um, how he'll go against uh, Fortuna in this one. Uh, I hate sub opinion said Fortuna by KO. I don't believe in Princess Ryan. R Fortuna shoots shots. Fortuna shots way harder than Luke Campbell in punches. Um, yeah, he does. I, I think Fortuna has uh, more power. Um, but when it comes to accuracy, Luke Campbell has better accuracy. Dennis F said, does Fortuna have one punch power? Any one punch KOs in the last few years, you know. Can't think of one on top of my head, to be honest. Um, he's more of a combination type of fighter who hurts you. And, um, you know, if he lands something clean, man, just wailing it, I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> that will that will hurt Ryan for sure. But, you know, we'll see if he can land something clean this fight soon. Uh, Phil M said Garcia by unanimous decision. Um, I, I think this fight will most likely go, go by, end by TK or knockout uh, with Ryan Garcia winning. Uh, I don't think it's going to go the distance. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything's possible in the sport of boxing. Uh, looking forward to the fight. Fight's almost It's almost here. So, uh, just, just honestly looking forward to the event. And, uh, and yeah, it's actually a pretty good card if you ask me. The, the undercard is pretty good. Um, so tune in to The Zone. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.